NPR film critic Bob Mondello says in some respects, Blade Runner 2049, the long-awaited sequel, surpasses the original. Robert Siegel, host Ridley Scott's science fiction film Blade Runner was a modest hit in theaters in 1982 and a massive one later on video. Scott's punk noir dystopia initially got mixed reviews, but the director kept recutting his film. And by 2007, when he released what he called a final cut, Blade Runner had inspired a whole generation of filmmakers. Well, now one of that new generation has directed a sequel. Critic Bob Mondello says in many respects, Blade Runner 2049 surpasses the original. Bob Mondello, byline it's 30 years after the events in the first movie, and what was noir has turned all wrong daylight filtered through a toxic haze so thick you can barely make out the dead trees. The sun's ability to cut through this murk has diminished to the point that 2049 Los Angeles needs snowplows to keep its streets clear, artificial farming to put food on its tables also blade runners to clear away the few old-school replicants that remain after a series of rebellions. Sound bite of film, Blade Runner 2049 Dave Bautista as Sapper Morton plan on taking me in Ryan Gosling as K. I would much prefer that to the alternative. Mondello that's Blade Runner K, whose job gets him roughed up a lot. He's clearing the way for the newer bioengineered androids that their blind maker claims are safer. Sound bite of film, Blade Runner 2049 Jared Leto as Neander Wallace Every leap of civilization was built off the back of slaves. Replicants are the future, but I can only make so many. Mondello the devil's always in the details, no K, played by a stone-faced Ryan Gosling, may not work for this guy, but he works for authorities who've given up regulating corporations to do their bidding instead. His work takes him trekking through an American Southwest that is the result of their neglect, protein farms that look like massive satellite dishes stretching to the horizon, a seawall hundreds of feet high holding back the Pacific, a garbage dump smoldering from Los Angeles all the way to San Diego where doomed children in rags pull scrap metal from discarded electronics for a latter-day figgin. Sound bite of film, Blade Runner 2049 Lenny James as Mr. Cotton the nickel is for the colonial ships closest any of them will any of us is going to get to that grand life off-world. So come on now, which or do you have in mind Mondello if this sequence looks like 21st century Dickens? Director Denis Villeneuve has crafted others to conjure up Nabokov, The Great Gatsby, Pinocchio, Treasure Island, Macbeth, The Bible. K's very name suggests a link to Kafka. And where the first film had a unicorn, this one has a kind of Trojan horse. Grad students are going to have a field day interpreting the literary references. Movie savvy audiences will relish equally diverse film riffs. And Blade Runner fans, well, they'll get everything they came for and then some when Harrison Ford's dick hard shows up looking weather-beaten. Sound bite of film, Blade Runner 2049 Harrison Ford is Rick Dickard I had your job once. Mondello, but definitely not beaten in any other sense. Sound bite of film, Blade Runner 2049 Ford is Rick Dickard I was good at it. Gosling is K I know. Ford is Rick Dickard what do you want Gosling is K I want to ask you some questions. Mondello questions, yes the film is crammed with those, all of them in the service of the script's big ideas. Sound bite of film, Blade Runner 2049 Leto as Neander Wallace the future of the species is finally unearthed. Mondello they are ideas expanded from the first film about what it means to be human, about who gets to have a soul, about the costs of slavery, the price of feeling, the allure of surfaces also about where society is headed. We may not have flying cars, colonies on other planets or replicants, but there are plenty of ways in which we've more or less caught up to the 2019 The Original Blade Runner predicted omnipresent advertising and surveillance, street violence met by police estate tactics, climate so screwed up it seems as if Mother Nature is at once in retreat and coming for us with everything she has left. Flash forward three more decades, and Villeneuve and cinematographer Roger Deakins give us staggering new visions of the future, ones that confound and trance and mystify in Blade Runner 2049 even while making rich cinematic senses. And let me stress the cinematic. Few movies in recent years have so rewarded being seen on the biggest possible screen, being heard, being felt in the theater. I'm Bob Mondello. Copyright, copyright 2017 Nepalese Rupees. All rights reserved. Visit our website Terms of Use and Permissions pages at www.npr.org for further information. NPR transcripts are created on a rush deadline by Verb ATM, Inc., an NPR contractor, and produced using a proprietary transcription process developed with NPR. This text may not be in its final form and may be updated or revised in the future. Accuracy and availability may vary. The authoritative record of NPR's programming is the audio record.